I'm going to assume you're here because you're inquiring about a misfire code. Your engine light is on or it's flashing and you have a code that's P0301, 302, 303 and so on. We're going to talk about misfires right now. So take a listen to this engine running and tell me if it sounds like yours. It doesn't matter what kind of car it is, whether it's a sports car or a, a grocery getter. When you listen to the car, you can hear the engine is not in balance right now. So let's go over this little chunk of video again. I want to show you what I'm doing and what's happening. Each one of these little red things that I'm unplugging and plugging is referred to as an ignition coil. Pay attention to cylinder number one right here. As I unplug and plug it back in, notice that there's no difference in the engine RPM. Yet cylinders two, three, and four, you can hear the difference of how the engine is running when I unplug the coil. This indicates that my cylinder number one is not igniting any fuel right now. It's misfiring. It's not running on all four cylinders. It doesn't mean that my ignition coil is bad. It just means that for some reason, either there's no spark, there's no fuel, or there's no compression in that cylinder. If this was happening in your car right now, it would be giving you a code P0301, meaning 0300s indicate misfires, 01, 02, 03, and 04 indicate the cylinder that is misfiring. Now, if I can help you understand what's going on behind the scenes, hopefully it'll help you understand what's going on in your vehicle right now. This little gear is going to represent a sensor. Well, half of a sensor. And you need to pay attention to the little dark tooth that I've made. Now, I've greatly simplified this, but you need to understand that every time this special tooth passes this sensor, something's going to happen. For the sake of simplicity, let's just say that a spark plug is about to fire. Every time the spark plug fires, it ignites the fuel, combustion occurs, and your engine keeps doing its job happily and smoothly. Now, there are a multitude of things that can go wrong, but we're keeping it simple, remember? And let's just say this spark plug has failed. What that means is the last time that combustion occurred was actually way up here. And the only thing keeping the engine running at this point is all the momentum that's built in the rotating crankshaft. This slowing down of the crankshaft is what creates this imbalance condition. The computer on your car can measure the angular velocity of the crankshaft and it knows which cylinder is misfiring. When there's easy access like we have right here, we're going to do some pretty simple diagnostic tricks. We can start by swapping the spark plugs in cylinders 1 and 4 and also swapping the ignition coils in 1 and 2. Next we have to reset the computer with a code reader or a scan tool and then we have to test drive the car and wait for the check engine light to come back on again. If the code on the computer is now showing that the misfire has gone to cylinder number four, we know it went with the spark plug. If it went to cylinder number two, guess what? It went with the coil. And if it stayed at cylinder number one, that means the problem is not ignition related and we have to go looking elsewhere. So this engine has what's referred to as a dead miss, meaning that cylinder is completely and totally dead. In this case, your engine light will be flashing indicating that you are damaging the catalytic converter on your vehicle. So now we need to discuss the dreaded P0300, which is a random misfire. So when the computer on your vehicle cannot determine a specific cylinder that is misfiring, but it's measuring multiple crankshaft slowdowns, so, the, so picture it, the crankshaft is slowing down at multiple points, um, it gives us this random misfire, which means that somewhere universally so something that is affecting all the cylinders or multiple cylinders is causing a misfire and that can be very difficult to diagnose because the computer itself can't find a specific cylinder all it knows is that something is acting up so the whole diagnostic procedure for that uh, particular code is very different than for a simple dead miss in one cylinder anyways random misfires is a whole different video i'm not going to get into that today Thanks for watching this Tech Tip Tuesday and have a great Tuesday. Bye.